Hey, Glenda, it was on this green right behind me that Tony Finau won the Rocket Mortgage Classic just one year ago. It was on the screen that this Tony Finau bobblehead was replicated off of. He is looking to defend his title here at Detroit Golf Club. I talked to him prior to his practice round today. Here's our conversation. Well, let's start with the bobblehead. Yeah. What are your uh, What are your thoughts? I love it. Yeah, I love it. I think it's uh, it does a great job. I, I may need to bring the goatee back this week, so we may need to clean some of this up. But no, it's uh, it's quite a great touch from Rocket Mortgage. Yeah. And of course, the championship green too. What did it feel like coming back to DGC just a year after that win? It feels amazing. I've I've definitely got a champion's welcome by the fans, by Rocket Mortgage, by the club. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely been everything that I hoped it would be and, and even more. So it's really nice to be back to feel all the good vibes and I'm looking forward to just competing again and, and playing in front of the great 313 fans again. And just a year ago, my teammate Brad and I interviewed you and Elena right here. And it was just such a great scene to have Elena with you. Yeah. Does it feel like it was a year ago? What has changed for you since then? I can't believe it's been a year. You know, that's it's uh, life moves fast. You know, that's all there is to it. And, you know, a lot has gone on still over the last year. Um, I've won a couple more times, which has been great. But um, anytime you come back to a place where uh, you've won and then where I've just had so many great memories here um, is, is an amazing thing. And lastly, I rewatched for multiple times your episode on Full Swing. Um, I think it was such a special inside look at you as a professional golfer trying to balance golf and family. Showing that side to the world, has it changed? Um, have you felt it change your persona at all? Yeah, and I, I think it was really cool to be able to just show the world um, what I'm about, what our family's about, and how important my family is to me. You know, I think it, the world needs that, and um, it was really cool to just show that. You know, what a better way to do it than um, through, you know, Netflix. So I thought that uh, we definitely gained a lot of fans and that it's been a very, very positive thing for, for our family and, and hopefully for everyone that watches it. Detroit is big fans of Team Fino. Thank Hope you. to see you repeat. Good luck this week. Thank you. Thanks so much. Fino with four top 10 finishes this season and two wins looking for another this weekend in Detroit. Brad? So many faces of this tournament right over the years. Tony Fino has now grown into one. Mike Tarico, we're so fortunate to be have as a face. And you. Of the Rock and Workers Pass. Hey, great to see you. Great to be back with you. So many new faces that we you know? know so well. Yeah. Justin Thomas, Kala Morikawa. I know golf fans here were thrilled. You know them well, and it's pretty big to have this tournament with those two major champions here playing. It's really fun. It adds some juice to it. I was with Justin for a bit last night at an event and walked a few holes with Colin this morning as he was checking out the golf course for the first time. And they love what the event's about. They love the feel and the energy. They'll see that this weekend with the crowds as well. So this is year five. And every year you say, oh, it's the best one we've had. This is the best field, the best setup, the best energy going in. So really feel good about where this tournament is. You wear a lot of different hats this week. You're going to hand out the pairings in just a few moments. Yeah, make people unhappy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a part of the, uh, the golf coverage of it all. You're on the Rocket Giving, rock giving Fund. How fun is it to wear all those different hats this week? It's an honor to be a, a part of this this week. Look, you know it. You, your family, you've invested in the community, right? You grew up in the state, so you know all about it. I, I heard you talking about that earlier. It's, for me, not the place where I was born, but I've now lived here for 25 years. My wife is from here, and our family's been here. So you, you see this place, and you feel really connected to what this tournament has become. Think of year one, and now look at the build-out. Look at the chalets, the noise that they make or in that area 313 going into the weekend. This has become part of the Detroit summer. And it's just really cool to watch it go from a real dream of Dan Gilbert's to something that we're all celebrating and sharing. You got fireworks, you got the Grand Prix, you got this. We have a heck of a good summer happening downtown, and it brings people from our great suburbs downtown. That's what I love the most. And get a really good glimpse of it. To see the kids out there interacting with some of the pros today, it is authentic. And Tony Finau is a guy I want to ask oh. you about because you got to know him at Media Day, the interaction and banter yeah. between two of you. He's authentic as they come. I've been lucky enough to cover him since he came on tour. I'm old now, like all these guys, they've come on tour while I've been out there for a while, and they come say, hey, I grew up watching you call golf tournaments, and they remind you you're old, but Great golfer, multiple winners, turned it around with more success this season. But what a great guy. If you watch the Netflix series, Full Swing, you saw it. If you watch him just in the interview, Gina, a short time ago, that's him. 
he's natural. He's, I, I saw him right before that, and we caught up and just chit-chatted for a minute or so. He was at dinner in town the other night. People were saying hi to him. It's great to have those kind of guys come here and embrace the tournament because they want to come back because of the way Detroit treats them. The way that people were interacting with him, his team had to pull him away from signing autographs exactly. to it's get him. to work. The same way you're going to have to mingle through this crowd tonight. So, Mike, we need you. We need you. Well, you, you need the other person back in this seat. This is one of the great downgrades. You get rid of Carolyn for me. That's a that's a loss for people. So he yells I'll get out of here. here. He goes, I love your fan, but we need Carolyn in this seat. I, now you're I, I talk to him all the time. I'd rather talk to her. Next year, Carolyn, you're here yeah, doing the interview. Next year, I'm there. Great to you. Thank you great so job. Much. Keep it up, bud. Thanks, Mike. Bye, appreciate it. Up, up close with the pros. Coming up next, we're going to talk to some of the PGA Tour golfers like Ricky Fowler and Keegan Bradley. Hear what players are saying ahead of the tournament when we come back. Here is a beautiful look over Area 313. It is a favorite place for fans to watch all the action. Look how amazing that looks. And they have added a lot of decks where fans can get fabulous views of Rocket Mortgage Golf this year. Take a look. Nestled around holes 14, 15, and 16 are the Grove and the Village where families can find great food and entertainment at the same time. A lot listen, of fun, huh? Listen to you with your golf lingo, listen nestled around it, 14, yes. 15. We don't need Mike Tirico. We got Carolyn Clifford. Listen, today fans got a chance to go out and have some fun, interact with their favorite golfers, but the guys they were trying to get autographs from, they're already hard at work. The pros and celebrities scramble. Such a big part of the week. Gina Troutman there for it all, and she joins us live with coverage of that. Gina? Nothing really welcomed professional golf back to Detroit, quite like the three-hole party that is the Area 313 Celebrity Scramble. Nothing going on behind me as we speak, but this just wrapped up within the last hour. And let me tell you, it was a blast. Take a look. The biggest names in golf, guys like Ricky Fowler, Keegan Bradley, Tony Finau, Colin Morikawa, just some of the PGA Tour pros out here for charity, paired up with celebs like Dylan Larkin, Barry Sanders, and of course, Area 313 vet Tom Izzo. He is the first to admit that his skills lay on the basketball court, but we all do know he is a competitor to the core. He came out here to defend his title, and that he did. Even talking a little bit of trash with one of Detroit's greatest athletes of all time. For me, it's, it's amazing and love doing it. Um, you know, wish wish I could hit the ball a little straighter, <laughs> but uh, fortunately, you know, um, I don't I don't think. That's necessarily what we're here for, um, and not how I make a living. But it's and, and then for me, the cool part is obviously rubbing shoulder, you know, rubbing shoulders um, with the real players. Um, you know, being a golf fan that I am, so it's kind of neat. And we won, so and you got the belt, and we got the belt. So I'm the defending champ. Barry Sanders is after it. He ain't gonna get it. He talked the talk, he walked the walk. Tom Izzo winning that belt again for the second year in a row. I thought it was so cool how the GOAT, like Barry Sanders says, he comes out here and he actually likes to meet the other golf professionals that he gets to play with. He said that Ricky Fowler was one of his favorites and, of course, Tony Finau, too. Fred? Uh, it was funny to see Dylan Larkin out there, the captain of the Red Wings. His dad used to caddy for him in this. He got fired from the bag, had his agent on the bag last year. He's busy, so his dad goes... So is it my turn again? He goes, nope, sorry. His brother's on the back, so his dad was out there cheering for him. It is such a cool event to unite some of our Detroit sports heroes with some of the biggest names in golf. Absolutely. Now, did I understand her correctly? Did she say Barry Sanders was talking trash with Ricky Fowler? I, I and Tom Izzo in there a little bit. I mean, They're competitive. They, I've never even known that Barry Sanders could, like, uh, talk a little trash. It must be, like, one of those guys that talks and he hits you with that, with that trash talk. It hurts even more. Yeah. All having fun at the same time. You know, Dan Gilbert, founder of Rocket Mortgage, always had a, a vision for a PGA tournament in the city of Detroit. Alicia Smith sat down with Rocket Company CEO Bill Emerson to talk about the tournament from the fun to the impact and the spotlight it shines on our great city. Take a look. Finau um, is just a phenomenal player and to have him win last year uh, and what that meant to him uh, and his family and the fun that he had as a result of it. We're so glad to have him back uh, as a returning champion. That was a moment. For sure. We have the chair. He got to sit in the chair. That trophy's evolved. That whole thing is evolved. The chair, it's a, 
it's a real deal. It's the fifth year of the Rocket Mortgage Classic. The tournament was the brainchild of Rocket Mortgage founder, Dan Gilbert. Dan always had a mission to bring a tournament to Detroit. And I think the vision was always first, only, best. And this is the first and only PGA event in the city of Detroit. And then the best, our mission was to make it the best experience for players and for folks that live uh, in, in the city of Detroit and in, in and around. Gilbert also aimed to have the tournament make a real change in the community. So when COVID struck in 2020, COVID had a big impact on, on residents in the city of Detroit, and what it showed is that there was a significant lack of technology access and internet access for Detroit residents. As a result of that, we got together with our community partners and, and came up with the concept of changing the course, bridging the digital divide gap, making sure that folks in the city of Detroit have access to the internet. If you don't have the technology, you don't have the tools, you can't look for a job, you can't do telehealth. There's so many things that you can't do as a result of that. The Changing the Course initiative has raised $3.8 million since 2020 and has made a measurable impact. And the goal was always to be able to have every Detroiter have access to the technology, the training, the information they need, and access to the internet within a 10 minute walk of their house. And we're getting close. We've taken this city that was 40% digitally included, it's now 70%. As we think about year five, everything that's happened in the four years that, that have transpired and some of the challenges that we've had with COVID years and other things, we're fired up about this year. We think it's gonna be a great year. Come on down, you know, whether it's uh, on the community days for free, whether it's during the event, uh, you know, the ticket prices are reasonable. Come check us out and, and really experience the PGA Tour up close and personal uh, like you probably won't be able to do any other place. And we'll see who ends up sitting in the now famous chair. You gotta win the tournament. You gotta win. Gotta, I took a picture with it in the background. Did you? I didn't sit in it, out of respect. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's gonna be a fun year for sure. I think world-class golf is wonderful, but what it is doing for the city, especially the digital device, so many kids are behind, and you know Detroit, they don't even have a lot of access to internet, but with $3.8 million, oh my goodness, it can do so much. And what they've done in the few years since they've really committed to it, they said they've closed the gap, there's still so much work to do, Bill continues to talk about it, the Rocket people continue to talk about it, this is a golf-crazed state. And after Warwick Hills lost the Buick Open, everybody said, please bring us something. Yes. What Rocket Mortgage has done to bring this tournament here and then add more to the community, can't ask for more than I this. I know, and I saw you and Gina out there with little kids, so excited, eyes wide open, learning about golf, just amazing. Well, golf fan asked her to sign the flag. She goes, what do you want mine for? He goes, you're a part of it too. I love watching you guys. Oh, makes your heart feel warm. And you know, we are looking forward to all of the fun this week too, a lot of it. A lot of it, and Glenda Lewis is in the middle of all of it with more on some of the great events of the tournament. Glenda? Uh, Brad, Carolyn, Rocket Mortgage, really the rocket fuel, if you will, behind this whole incredible event. And of course, this PGA Tour being in our beautiful city of Detroit. And it really is about community, and they keep it rooted in community, and we're so thankful for that. Joining me right now is Casey Herbert, and he's the Chief Marketing Officer of Rocket Mortgage. Talk about this being a community day today. It absolutely is. I mean, today was our first of our two community days. We had the Area 313 Challenge. We had the great PJ Tour players. We had Chris Weber and Tom Izzo, The Miz. An amazing event. It's free for all of our citizens to come down, not only today, but tomorrow. And we got the Pro-Am. We got about 120 players starting at 645 in the morning all through the afternoon. It's a great opportunity for everybody to come during our community days and see amazing players, maybe get some autographs, and see what the Rocket Mortgage Classic is all about. And it's really awesome how Rocket Mortgage keeps us rooted, even through this event, and who we are, about our city, about uplifting our people. Um, starts on Thursday with a special tribute, bow tie. It sure does. Uh, Thursday is our bow tie day, and that's our to honor Nick Gilbert, the son of Dan and Jennifer Gilbert who lost his battle with NF, neurofibromatosis, recently. And um, it's an it's a opportunity for us to not only honor Nick, but raise money to help NF forward and help find a cure for his terrible, terrible disease. And, you know, the players will have Nick Gilbert's name on the back, and we'll be honoring Nick all day. And uh, it's always a special day at the Rock Emerge Classic, but Thursday is going to be 
just a bit more special. And true to who the Gilberts are, true to Detroit, keeping it moving forward. Casey, thank you so, thank much. You so much. All Bless right, you. we're going to check on the forecast for the golfers. Marissa, to you. Oh, well, thankfully, the golfers won't be dealing with the smoke that unfortunately golfers today had to deal with. I do expect that smoke to move out, but we're going to be dodging showers. Now, I know this forecast may look very rainy, but there are some details here. The rain on Thursday, for example, really won't be in until the evening, so most of the play on Thursday will be dry. Temperatures will be in the low 80s. On Friday, there'll be a few showers very early and then a couple popping in throughout the afternoon, but also a majority of the day will be dry. But take a look at those temperatures climbing into the upper 80s. On Saturday, though, unfortunately, that's going to be our best chance for showers and even a few thunderstorms. Throughout the morning, just a couple of spotty showers, but as we head throughout the afternoon, you'll start to notice looking at more wet weather building into the area, and this is also when we'll have a chance for a couple of thunderstorms. So play on Saturday will be quite interesting if we can make it through quite a few rounds uh, before, again, those showers and storms move through. Sunday also, we're going to continue to have some showers through the area. Temperatures, though, will be in the 80s all of the days there with the hottest day being Friday. Carolyn. Oh, fingers crossed for the golf course. Thank you so much, Marissa. Now, you know, one of the tournament's big supporters is, of course, Delta Dental of Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana. Joining me right now is the Vice President of Strategic Partnerships, Margaret Tremor. Always nice to see you. So great to see you. Oh. What a festive night, right? I know. The music, the people, it's just incredible it's in here. Um, Margaret, tell me. Why is it so important for Delta Dental to be connected to something like the Rocket Mortgage Classic? Well, first of all, it's the people, right? This is our biggest book of business here in Southeast Michigan, and these are our customers. And it's just great to be here with our customers and our partners building up Detroit. I mean, they're putting Detroit on the international and oh, the yeah. national map, right? And we look real good. Now, you've been connected to the Rocket Mortgage Classic for five years now. We just talked about that because we've been here together. Um, what do you think the Rocket Mortgage Classic does for a city like Detroit? Well, first of all, it puts us on the map for all good things, right? This week is just about showcasing the strength, the power, the business community, the unity that we have here, and the philosophy of giving back. The charitable aspect of this event cannot be underestimated. This year, it's going to be almost $7 million that we put back into the community. Ooh, a lot of money. I now, I know you love golf. What's your favorite thing about the Rocket Mortgage Classic? First of all, I wish I was good at golf. Okay, I love golf. Our customers, our agents, our brokers, our colleagues love golf. And we're looking forward to some Ricky Fowler time. We're looking forward to the roster this year. It's probably the best that we have seen in all five years. We're looking forward to some competition, some energy, maybe some surprises. Wow, and the future looks bright, going on and on. Oh, yes. Margaret yep. Tremor, always nice to see you. Great to Have see you, fun Carolyn. tonight because this party is rocking. It's a great place. Yes. Well, this party is just getting started around here. Coming up next, we're going to check back in with Glenda to find out what celebrity she has spotted. Now, we are back in less than two minutes. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Countdown to the Rocket Mortgage Classic. Tony Finau would love to repeat his 2022 performance this year, of course. Last year, he broke the tournament scoring record at Detroit Golf Club. Wow. And what a run it started for him in his career. He had an incredible weekend, shooting four rounds in the 60s. On his heels was Taylor Pendrith from Canada, but he could never catch Finau. Pendrith tied for second with Cameron Young. Finau went on to win the tournament and the trophy and creating an iconic bobblehead pose that kids got for free today and will get for free tomorrow. What an unbelievable champion for this tournament. And what a great name, Finau, right? Uh, but the Pro-Am is first up tomorrow, of course, and Glenda is with one of the teams that will be playing in tomorrow's Delta Dental Pro-Am. Glenda, who you got with you right now? Carolyn, I've got one of the players with me, Tryon Solutions, Jeff Campanegro, and former pro golfer Bob Krause. Um, I got the caddy and I got the player. How do you feel playing in the Pro-Am tomorrow? Oh, it's going to be great. We, we always have fun playing in it. And, you know, Tryon has the Tryon Solutions Cabanas, which is on the 15th hole from the tee to the green. And uh, we've been sponsoring it for the last five years, and we have such a great time. Aren't I lucky to have Bob Cross as my uh, caddy tomorrow? You got 
got any tips for us, Bob? I'm just going to keep them in the moment and just stay calm. And let's not, don't get too far ahead of ourselves. He's going to be just fine. Yeah. He's our horse. <laughs> Well, he's in great mood. Doesn't he do a great job on the try on golf tips on Saturday and Sunday morning on Channel 7? Oh, it's, we so appreciate that, Mom. Your expertise and so many people respond to that. And this, isn't it awesome having pro golf here in the city and being a part of it, John? It is so great and what, what it does for the city of Detroit and uh, getting computers in the hands of kids that don't have computers. And what a great thing this whole tournament is for the city of Detroit and everyone around it. Seems like this is what we do. We take an opportunity for every professional event to make it personal and really keep those ties in our community. Absolutely, it's just it's wonderful what it's doing. It's pulling in so much money, exposure for everybody, and it's just elevating us to a whole nother space. And, and it's just great. It's fantastic. All right. So, how do you think you're going to do? Well, yeah, I hope I can uh, hit it straight. I heard the rough is really rough, so uh, I want to stay in the fairway. <laughs> all right, all right, and it might be a little wet too, but we got you. I, I told Bob that don't be sick of me asking, what did I do wrong, right? right? So. I don't know what he's thinking, but I think he's going to win. We're not going there for second place. Team try on. <laughs> all right, back to you. All right, Glenda, thank you so much. We are gearing up for a fantastic tournament. At the helm of this all is executive director Jason Langwell. I, I swear, if you don't start a tournament without a curveball, we'll be surprised. What an amazing job, though. I know you would love to give credit to the ground crew and everybody involved in this tournament, Jason. The trees fall, the storms hit. I walked around today. You couldn't even tell. You really couldn't even tell. It was unbelievable. Look, I, uh, I've got three boys and uh, had a lot of prideful moments in my life. And yesterday was right up there. Um, the, the grounds crew, my team, everybody leaned in, and uh, it was really incredible. I, I, I'll never forget some of the images I, I saw yesterday of people just picking up sticks, some bigger than others. <laughs> uh, and it's just really amazing. And, and you wouldn't even know it when you get out there today. Players are like, what tornado? What, what are you talking about? So it was really special. But the golf course is ready in a great shape. The challenges around golf and the perception for the last year is PGA Tour events, it's going to be tough to get big names. Each time you would text me and go, we got him. How awesome is this? My wife's jumping around. The golf community's jumping around. You got some big hitters in this tournament. How'd you get it done? Well, I mean, I think it's living proof that perception isn't always reality, right? Um, we built something really special here, and the word's making its way around the locker rooms of the PGA Tour. Not just the experience at the golf course, but the experience away from the golf course. Gordon Sargent's here tonight. Other players are here tonight. We're building great relationships because of, you know, what we built here in the city of Detroit, and uh, it's the best field we've ever had. Watching so many kids walk in today and hold that Sony Fidel bobblehead, put it in their backpack, and then run and try to get his autograph. We were talking earlier with Mike Tirico. His team had to pull him away from signing so many of the bobbleheads because he was so engaged. I know you guys are proud to present the free community days today and on Wednesday. Yeah, it really is. I mean, yeah, tomorrow fans can come back out. The first thousand, you know, got to get there early. Yeah. We went, we zipped through the thousand today. First thousand to get in, uh, you know, uh, come in, get it for free. And uh, it's just a really great day that we're going to have uh, tomorrow. The Delta Dental Pro-Am is going to be fantastic. Uh, Jerome Bettis, who wasn't out there today, will be out there tomorrow. Uh, the Miz will be out there playing. Just a really great day. And then we roll right into tournament rounds. And, you know, limited tickets available. We still got them at rockandmortgageclassic.com. Looking forward to joining you. And one of those names you just mentioned, Glenda Lewis is with the Miz. Jason Langwell is with us here. Thank you so much. Good to be with you. Glenda, we'll send it back to you. Oh my gosh, I'm here shooting the breeze with The Miz. Yes. Um, <laughs> how are you? I'm doing absolutely phenomenal, amazing. Yes, so you wrestle. I do. And you're awesome at it. And we're gonna be actually here in Detroit at Ford Field on August 5th. Yeah. So uh, it's gonna be amazing, it's SummerSlam, so it's gonna be incredible. But today, <laughs> it's all about Rocket Mortgage Classic and uh, I got to do the Area 313 scramble today. Yes. I was playing with uh, Keegan Bradley yeah. and Max Homa. I thought I outdrove Max Homa one time. Started talking a bunch of smack. Right. We got up to the balls, he was about 20 yards ahead of me. And I was like, yep, yep, that happens. Wrestling He's a pro, good. I'm not. Golf, maybe not so maybe much. Maybe not so much. But enjoy time with the kids. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm having a blast out here. I mean, my gosh, like, the, 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 what the crew has done. I mean, there was a tornado two days ago. You wouldn't have known it 
out there on the field. The, the, the place looks amazing. They did a terrific job, so kudos to the crew people out there. Yes, a lot of love for our city. Are we rubbing off on you? You got any love I in love there? I love it. I did not, so I was, I'm downtown, right? Yeah. And man, did they really pick this place up. Like, they really made it look beautiful and nice. Like, it was gorgeous out here. Yeah. It's brand new. Yeah. So, welcome all the way from California. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. you said you're going to be out here performing and doing your thing. Yeah, we'll be here at Four Field uh, August 5th, Saturday. So uh, we're excited about it. WWE always puts on a great performance, and uh, we can't wait to be here. Well, hopefully we catch you again over the weekend, and thank you for yeah, participating. I'll be at the program, so uh, hopefully winning. <laughs> hopefully. We'll see how my game goes. Try and hit them straight this time. I'm going to try. I'm doing my best. going to let you know about it. Yes, he will. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank Back you. to you guys. Wow, don't you love it? I mean, a WWE wrestler, Miz, we've got pro football players, basketball players, MSU coach, Tom Izzo. I mean, everybody shows up, huh? He was on the range during the kids' clinic, and he could not hit the target. He finally started picking the balls up and throwing it. <laughs> and he goes, my, my daughter gets so frustrated when she golfs. I go, really? I wonder where she gets it from. In typical wrestler fashion, huh? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, that's cool, though. Nice to have Miz in town and calling Detroit beautiful. Coming up next, meet seventh grader Zaria Brown. We'll find out how Zaria, Chewing Gum, and Beyonce have a connection to the Rocket Mortgage Classic. It is guaranteed to make you smile. Ricky Fowler has been on the prowl for a win for a while now. Now, Brad, you caught up with him today. What do you have to say? He's a fan favorite, right? How many yes. times have you sat here going, I think Ricky's going to finally get it done. <laughs> yeah. He finally feels like he's at the point where he can get it done. His it daughter, scary. Maya, was watching him at the U.S. Open. Tiny little Maya, and he goes, she doesn't care if I shot an 85 or a 65 last week. He came so close to winning that first major, and he's got his game in a perfect position to win this week. The hot golf man, it's been unbelievable watching you play. What's been working so successfully for you the last few weeks? A little bit of everything. I mean, there's, there's you know, some days where, you know, one thing's better than the other. Um, you know, nice to have some nice putting rounds in there where, you know, the two low ones with the 62 and the 60, uh, that's kind of a little bit of everything working. You know, those days where you've got a lot of stuff going, you know, keep the foot on the gas and go have fun. We've said for years since you come here, do you feel like you can win this thing? And you're a confident golfer, you're a talented golfer, you always say yes. I think all of Metro Detroit was cheering for you. If you could hear the roars all the way out in California last week, do you feel the most confident you've ever felt coming into DGC? Yeah, this is by far the, the best position I've been coming in with, with my game, um, feeling-wise, but also with, with results and, and seeing that. So, um, you know, still got a lot of, lot of tough guys to beat and compete with out here this week, but. Um, there's been a lot of good stuff and, and definitely excited to be here. Glad we've got weather through um, and it should continue to get nicer and nicer throughout the week. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have some fun, leave it all out there, and uh, hopefully we have a chance on Sunday. I love what you said after the U.S. Open that going home, it didn't matter. If you shot a 65 or an 85, your biggest fan didn't care. What does being a dad change your perspective and helped you, you know, go through these moments where you get close, you can't quite get it? How much does that change your perspective on golf? Uh, well, I mean, you know, at, at the end of it, you finish, you know, after 72 holes. I mean, there's there's nothing you can do to go change what's happened. Um, you can obviously look back, learn from it, try and move forward. And Sunday at the U.S. Open was a bummer, but, you know, walking off and having my wife and daughter there, um, it really doesn't matter. I mean, it, we're lucky to get to play this game for a living. Um, I love to be able to do it. Um, I'm a competitor. I, I want to win. I want to compete. But, you know, having the family and, and spending time with them, like, golf's secondary to that. All about balance, right? Not getting too high and not too low, but so important to have your child to come home to, your wife, your family. That's what's most important. So many amazing moments on the PGA Tour. Just last week at the Travelers Championship, Keegan Bradley wins in his North New England region. 
kids rush on to see him on the green. Ricky Fowler wants that moment. He is as close as he's been in a long time to winning again on the PGA Tour. And a tour. lot of people are pulling for him. I mean, he's always a fan yeah. favorite. Yeah. That's what I told him. I yeah. said, you better have heard it here in Detroit. <laughs> We're always rooting for yes. him. He's a good guy. Yes, indeed. All right, well, coming up, we have to know so much about what's going on behind us here. We've told you about the Pro-Am, but giving back to Detroit is mission critical for the Rocket Mortgage Classic. We know that, and the tournament has raised $3.8 million aimed at filling gaps in the digital divide. Yes, we have talked about it over and over. They mean so much to the city of Detroit, making such an impact. So important, especially after the pandemic when a lot of kids fell behind. Right now, we're about to introduce you to Zaria Brown. She's a seventh grader who is one of many people whose lives have been changed with the help of the tournament's Changing the Course initiative and its partner, Human IT. Take a look. I received a computer, a Chrome computer, and I, I actually really love it. I got to research the information that I needed for my school assignments. Zaria Brown was one of several students at Greenfield Union Elementary Middle School in Detroit who received a device in December of 2022. Well, since then, Zaria's used the computer for all sorts of school projects, from a Black History Month project on Beyonce to a science fair project about chewing gum. The computer was given to her from Human IT, a nonprofit that offers new and upcycled technology, also called e-waste. In Metro Detroit, Rocket Companies is our largest e-waste donor. Rocket Companies donates all of our old technology to Human IT, who then recycles them at a subsidized price, gets them back out into the community. It's just a great way to leverage all of the business tools that we have to offer in order to drive towards this mission. The mission of changing the course is to bridge the digital divide. It allows us to provide Detroiters with the internet, the devices, and the digital literacy skills that they need to be able to thrive in a digital environment. It's about medical access. It's about educational access. It's about employment, entrepreneurship opportunities. It's about staying socially connected with those that you love. When we started in 2020, unfortunately, only 40% of Detroit residents were digitally included. Today, we're extremely proud to be able to say that that number has gone up to 70%. The goal is to continue to grow digital inclusion with partnerships like the one with Human IT. It just opened a store called Human IT on Seven Mile. Anybody can come and shop here. We will have devices priced for income qualified individuals and non-income qualified individuals. Access to digital skills training, assistance getting connected to the internet will also be included for anybody that walks in. Digital connectivity has made a world of difference to children like Zaria Brown. Because I work at this school that this, pro this program came through, I've not only seen my granddaughter, I've seen the other kids flourish from this program. I'm proud of all of them because I've seen where they came from and this year how they made strides. My grades have went up. My first semester was a 3.0. I went up from a 3.0 to a 3.44 to a 3.8. She did a good job because what was your biggest accomplishment? My grades and getting accepted into the National Juniors Honor Society. And I'm so grateful, so happy for this computer. I have shown a big growth in my learning and my grades and everything. It's just amazing. Oh my, talk about changing lives and opening up a world of opportunities. Just simply amazing, Brad, right? These are the stories that this tournament is trying to create, real stories and be with real people and amazing young people in our community like that. And they are doing that. Now, you know, Brad, we've been at this party together for five years now. Can you believe it? It's always a good time. We know that. And it's always amazing to see the celebrities who show up in the D. We're talking about big names like football player. Remember Jerome Bettis, the bus? He came in, of course, we keep mentioning him as Time is, I'm not biased or anything, but you know. He did win the celebrity <laughs> shootout today, so there's reasons for it. Gordon go. Sargent just a couple of weeks ago was the low amateur at the U.S. Open. He's trying to earn that PGA Tour card. Let's check it then with Glenda, who's with Gordon. Jason said they're always trying to keep those young golfers a part of this tournament. And Glenda, you're with one of the up and comers on the tour now. Yes, and keeping that going as well, Brad. As you just said, I'm honored to be with the number one amateur in the world. Gordon Sargent, what do you think of being here and being in Detroit? Yeah, it's awesome. It's been 
so cool to see all the fans out there today, um, their love for the game, and they're they're all kind of happy to have me here, which is cool. Um, so yeah, just kind of excited to have my first like real PJ Tour start here in Detroit, and uh, looking forward to getting the week started. Do you have any big goals for the D? I don't know. I mean, obviously, like you're coming here to play your best golf, and hopefully that's good enough to win at the end. But um, no, just kind of keeping my experience and um, just trying to learn as much from the week as possible. Yes, and we've had a turbulent start with Mother Nature, but things are easing up now. And of course, we've had a wonderful crew go out and make magic happen. Um, what's your impression of Detroit? Yes, I flew in Sunday night and to kind of see all the, played the offsite prom on Monday and to see all the damage to the course and then get out there this morning and see how much hard work they put into it. It's really special and shows how much the event means to them. So, um, yeah, thankfully we're going to have some good weather the rest of the week. So, um, dry out a little bit and see some fans out there in the sun. Well, we're honored to be your first PGA stop. We appreciate you and you. wish you all the luck in the appreciate world. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Brad, back to you. What a young star in the making, and of yeah. course, one of his first steps will be right here in Detroit. Yeah, he'll take a lot of memories from the Motor City home with him for sure. You know, last week, he won the Travelers Championship, and this week, he is here at the Detroit Golf Course. Gina talks with golfer Keegan Bradley. Coming up next, you don't want to miss it. Welcome back to the countdown to the Rocket Mortgage Classic. There's a lot of fun happening in this room tonight for sure. You know, some big new names were added to the tournament this year, but the Rocket Mortgage Classic is bringing back some guys who have uh, grown to love the course, right? Very publicly, too, which is pretty special. One of those players is coming off quite a week. Gina Troutman joins us live again from DGC. And Gina, we talked with Keegan Bradley this week. That's right, I did. Keegan Bradley rolling back into Detroit this week, $3.5 million richer after winning the Travelers Championship just on Sunday. He did so in his home of New England in front of his family. Now, if you're like me, you were watching that finish and that celebration and felt a little bit emotional. Those emotions for Keegan Bradley still fresh just two days later. Yeah. Has it wound down for you at all or are you still feeling that excitement? I'm still feeling that excitement. It still feels like a dream, but um, pretty tired, but I'm really happy to be here in Detroit. Do you feel any added maybe pressure or maybe motivation to kind of follow up last week's performance? A little bit. I'm, I'm still trying to enjoy this, and I will feel on Thursday I'll be ready to go again, but even tonight we're, I'm going to go out to dinner with my caddy, and we're going we're gonna to reminisce and enjoy the, what was last week. You compared what it meant to your family compared to what it meant to you. To kind of reach that next level of the sport and giving back to yourself, what does it mean to you to just kind of get a taste of that? Well, it's really fun for me to give my family the, the gift of what it feels like to win. And uh, they, they put up with so much with my career and how I travel and I'm gone. And it's so fun to share that with them. And they mean everything to me. So it was a, just the, probably, probably the coolest moment of my entire life. And what would it mean to win again? following the next week right here in Detroit. I would love it. I love this course. Rocket Morge does a great job for the community and for us, and I'm um, really looking forward to this week. I won't come, but I'm just curious, where are you and your caddy having dinner tonight? Uh, I think we're going to Prime and Proper. Yeah. <laughs> that was a popular one among everybody. I was going to guess that. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we go every year. It's a great spot. The pros are eating good this week. Jason Langwell said Prime and Proper was actually one of the places that kind of brought those pros back to Detroit. So uh, him and his caddy eating well and as deserved, they're coming off a huge win. Looking for another one here on Sunday. Brad, Carolyn, 